you know, so I don't even know, you know, and you kind of lose them. I like starting with this, like, two vague things, and you just kind of find them and lose them intermittently. And the, the, the now volume. I see where that came from. Yeah, you see where that came from? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, and then for me, this the Memorial Hall and some of the other buildings walking around Boston were really important. So that's oh, where is I this slate with the graphic? Oh, sorry, no, that's the one uh, that's next to Gun. That's good. oh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, but there's yeah. a bunch of churches that have these. Slate, the one we can't go into. Right. Yes. Have these slate and mm. uh, brick patterns. Um, so that's. I think they started us. The, our method of working was like you go plant, you draw plans, and you draw the the front elevation and mm. you just kind of work between those almost independently interesting um, so let's see and it's on broadway and i got this front one so there's kind of a uh you know there's the park here and there's this corner and then and then so this cut is responding to this little corner here mm. you know i don't mm. know if that's I, like, I didn't see that coming yeah trying to make this into mm. you know it becomes a little plaza yeah. thing yeah i see it you know and then mm. that ramp um and you know i think i've over the the past couple years before going to grad school i was teaching myself about corbusier so i like <laughs> ramps you know <laughs> put those ramps in yeah the last couple things um but yeah, so it, it becomes this, and this thing's just kind of a bar, and it, it flattens out against the back. Um, and I think that's one of the, the mannerist, say, moves, which is that it uh, it gets, you know, you have this formal face, so, and it's the... So this is not a section. It is the building. This is the building. Right, right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I just so want to make that... Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's, it's sliced, mm -hmm. basically. So you have this kind of formal front, and then on the back, it's it's... You know, say a CMU thing, and you just punch holes out. And this is like the—it's not actually a party wall, but it's basically the party wall that faces <laughs> on the rest of it. Um, and that's, you know, that's some of the the Palazzi we were looking at right. were, were like, you know, around the back. They didn't have the money to finish it, so mm. you know. And I think that makes sense. So you, you know, and and in a contemporary way, it's like, okay, we want to spend all our money on the brick and the slate in the front, and then right, the back, right. and it just doesn't matter. You know? So, and so I where did that slice come from? Like, the diagonal slice? The diagonal? I don't know. Um, <laughs> it just sort of took on this thing where from the park it kind mm. of sloped up. Right, right. Um, and then I just kind of simplified that into this with mm. that diagonal cut from the, the street, and it just kind of happened. And what happens in the middle, in between that corner? I see from that model. Yeah. Oh, the right the there. little the cut that the car, that and the like all the way back. Yeah. There, yeah. There's like a little bit of step, right? So it's just it's just kind of carved out. So the whole thing is like, you know, there's sort of Boolean operations happening okay. where like okay, chop it this way, chop it that way, and then that's kind of what the swirl's supposed to do too. So like, this thing, you know, if if you think of it like this face of the building gets just extruded that way, mm -hmm. it's like where this thing chops. It's supposed to be, I don't know, say like a piece of taffy or something where that, that uh, green slate is sort of, it swirls mm -hmm. where, where it's cut. Mm. Do you, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it does. Perfectly. I yeah, love so this that's move. A little, yeah. That's a little volume. That's then, what I love to do, man. <laughs> and there's just a little fun cantilever just for, for bonus fun. Yeah. I mean, um, it, it looks like it's just cantilevering over the ramp, so... It, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, it's like... It's, you could probably build it. It'd be expensive. <laughs> it's okay, I think yeah. that that's pretty minor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so and this thing slices off. I think that that move works, and then mm. yeah, the back. So so like you know, for instance, I think the I this having the back be unfinished basically that's one of those mannerist moves that I think we got out of that. that huh. Like I would never think of that before. I would right, never think right, that right. you could not continue the whole thing all the way around and make it all pristine, but it's like. Now that becomes a tool you can use like economically, and right, you can right. say like it's okay it's, that yeah. <laughs> we actually do it like this. You know, if you work like, there's with it beauty correctly. to doing that, like yeah. unfinished. Because I mean, you see all the time buildings with bad, mm -hmm. where they kind of half-ass the back of it. Right. And it's like you yeah. know, you could just you could make that intentional, and you yeah, could, I you always could work with it more. You could not kind of go halfway. But. Right. Yeah, I always believe in privileged view. Like yeah, there are views that's gonna suck. The right. view is gonna that's yeah. gonna be beautiful. Yeah. So, you know, just prioritizing like right. some good views, you know. Yeah, it's an urban thing, you know, yeah. and people look at it from a certain way. This is insane. Yeah, the inside Your model making skills are quite mind blowing. It's a, it's a rendering. <laughs> really? Yeah. 
Yeah. How the hell did you do that? Uh, <laughs> Wait, no, you. Yeah. Okay, did you build something though? Um, you built it. I like, built no, not the. I built this one. This is no mostly way. real. This is ninety percent real. How is okay? This looks like a rendering to me, and then the other one looks <laughs> like a model to me. Yeah, this one I think is 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 almost all real. There's some stuff that's touched up, but um, yeah, this one is a rendering, and I don't condone. I don't. Uh, don't, don't delete it. Don't uh, delete, delete it. it. <laughs> yeah, whoops. I don't. Uh, I wouldn't encourage this and like i don't i don't know Dude, if it's productive like, but like insane. i had fun uh like going in here and you know bending wow and, you know and this Bro. thing kind of wobbles <laughs> and it looks like paper and these aren't quite right they're sort of fucked up here bro um, you're so good at this and then this thing i know i shouldn't even show you this but Can there's I... a little cut here. Wow, dude, you're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I respect you more now. Little... <laughs> It's so silly. <laughs> but like, you know, this was our this was our COVID shutdown thing. Okay, wait. So none of this is real? No, that's full. That's that's a full render. Yeah. I mean, I took the back. I think the background. I can't believe it, dude. I used the same background that I shot, uh, cause like these I shot in my living room. Dude, this has to go on. Yeah, oh, yeah? Well, yeah, yeah. You're fine with that? Oh, yeah, that's okay. good. Okay. No, so, I'm not, I, I don't pretend it's like real. I, I, even in the review, we like laughed about it because like I told him it was really? fake. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, that's not a model, too? This is a model. This is okay, real. Okay, okay, okay. It's real. It's a little, uh, you know, it's fixed up in Photoshop somewhere. Okay, okay that's, I think that's real. fine. But, um, oh my God. And this one is fake, yes. <laughs> so, because it was, you know, it was, we had the studio, it was all about hand building stuff. Uh, you know, it was all about like working in the studio on these messy models, and then COVID happened, and it couldn't. I couldn't really get to this one, and, Yo, and so gonna... they knew, like they they knew what I was doing it eventually. But like, you're gonna yeah. you're gonna make a tutorial on it, <laughs> sure, yeah. Because everyone wants to make like model right for final, yeah. But like right now, we, we can't. just fake it. Yeah, that's okay. like the perfect way to do yeah, it. Right? I know, yeah. <laughs> But but that aside, okay, let's talk about what's inside though. Yeah. What's happening? Like, I see some sort of relationship to the. Yeah, this was like where the Geary comes in, um, mm. you know, like these kind of three, and and more than just these, but like looking at all his stuff from from that kind of '80s era where he's like, you know, he's exposing the two by fours and the framing, um, like almost something like this where there's you know a little city, a little mini. Mm. Right, thing. right. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, there's some better. Like, um, I wish I could remember the names. Yeah, I, I, I like think I know this this era where he's using plywood and stuff on the interior. <laughs> and I don't buy that honestly. Frame, like, the, like okay, so that's the yeah. inside of the uh, the Dennis Hopper ones. Mm. It's like this, so it's the two by fours. I mean. You know, so that was just something I started with. I wouldn't want to live in one of these because I have a dust allergy. And you'd have to <laughs> <laughs> clean it up. But, uh, you know, I think something and then, so, you know, the grid and like something with those kind of ideal city mm. paintings. I don't know. So, but, but I see some sort of relationship between the interior, like staircase and the way you push back the things based on your slicing. Right. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. So I think that's interesting. Yeah, I think, so, yeah, and then the, the Laurentian stairs, so this kind of oversized stair, my idea was you could kind of, you know, live on it and put your stuff and, mm. you know, like this was my sketch I did where you're you're kind of you're hanging out on the giant right, staircase right, right. right okay okay um and yeah it's below the slope so it kind of works mm. Shoot, I keep doing that. The mirror, so this one this was one of the other precedents I mean it's like really crazy uh, oh yeah uh, the yeah. Julia Romano and then you know so on the outside you've got this thing and it's it insane, starts totally. to fall apart a little bit here <laughs> and it's really weird and everything's all shut <laughs> together and then on the inside he's got he paints the the giants, and the thing is actually collapsing. Let me find that. Like the three projects I've seen so far from uh -huh. that studio, and like trying to think about the relationship between what you guys did for the outside versus what you guys did for the inside. Yeah, because it's very contrasting. Like there's, yeah. not, I don't think there's like a direct relationship, but maybe, maybe. I don't know, like some of the elements are brought in, but not necessarily the whole proportion thing going on. I think they intentionally set us up to make them mm. a little bit different. different. I mean, okay. I think we were, you know, the setup was you were working independently on these right, right. The inside it, and outside yeah. at the same time. Okay. Um, and I think maybe maybe that is a, a mannerist idea, you know, that you're kind of, you're, you're freed from 
maybe say one overriding mm. building rationale that kind of follows through. I don't know if that's always true. I mean, this, for instance, is hard to say because it's a it's just an interior and it goes it does go back into the reading room and it's it's uses it's kind of a simplified version of this. Mm. Um, I mean, this Laurentian library that's an that's an amazing. <laughs> amazing project i mean the, it's just and it's just so weird it's like this it is. this stair is so huge and it's it like way too it. big <laughs> yeah it doesn't make it but it kind of you know it yeah. kind of relieves the space to be it's interesting pleasant um yeah oh this is a great studio it's just a lot of fun mm.